Here's a wild one. It was 1965 when a boy in Washington County carved his initials in a turtle's shell and then let it go. Yeah, a long time ago, and now 47 years later, this turtle, this very same turtle, still alive. The boy's dad just discovered it. David Highfield is live with the story, new at 11. David. Yeah, Ken, 1965 was a long time ago. To give you an idea, the movie The Sound of Music came out that year. Lyndon Johnson was president, the Vietnam War was going on, and the Beatles were on their second tour across the U.S. It was also the first time this turtle met the Coakley family of Washington County. 85-year-old Holland Coakley took us down into his backyard. There's my dog. Zach is actually the neighbor's dog. Truth be told, Zach's really responsible for finding the turtle again after all these years. He was pointing, looking at something right here, and as soon as I saw it, it's a turtle. This is the turtle he's talking about. Nothing remarkable, until he looked closely. I picked up, picked it up, and I thought, oh, jeez, this is just turtle. And it, it's been here for 47 years. It was 1965 when his son Jeff, who was 13 at the time, found the same turtle and carved something on the bottom shell. It was a, a J.C. and down under 1965. Jeff now lives in New York State, but I talked to him on the phone about his reaction when his dad sent him a photograph. I saw my initials and the date on the bottom of the turtle. I just started laughing. Experts say in the wild, in the right conditions, eastern box turtles can live up to 100 years. And after keeping the turtle for a couple days, Holland Coakley let it loose again, free to wonder for perhaps many more years. He said in the paper that you cooked it up for dinner. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Yes, that was totally just a joke. He did release it deep in the woods of South Strabane. We tried looking for it tonight, but apparently the turtle has had enough excitement for the week and is now laying low. Reporting live in the newsroom, David Highfield, KDKA TV News.